Um, John Corla, uh, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this, uh, this issue of uh, public transport. Uh, and I want to say that, of course, it's entirely proper that uh, the Minister's constituents and the people of Dublin have good quality public transport. Uh, things like the Dart, like Lewis, like bus services within the Dublin area, in the wider Dublin area and indeed from Dublin right, radiating right throughout, uh, throughout the country to all the major towns and cities. Absolutely proper. But the re residents of my constituency, Minister, whether it be in Ballina or Neen or Ross Grey or Templemore or Tipperary Town or Carrick on Shore or Cashel or Clonmel have substantially less travel rights and a substandard bus and rail service. We have lost our bus routes. You can instance the questions of the rustlers lost in Carrick and Shore. And you, Minister Nairn Wadairn, want to close our rail lines through Ballybrophy and the Limerick uh, Waterford line as well. R uh, bus, rail, uh, rail, the rail, that particular rail line between Limerick and Waterford, uh, trains are cancelled uh, on that line on almost a daily basis now. Uh, and obviously it's uh, set an earmark for closure by uh, Aaron Rodair and, and indeed yourself and, and, and the government. My constituents, Minister, are entitled to the same adequate, good quality transport service as, as, the, as the people of Dublin. And far from cuts, we need more, more uh, or indeed closure of routes, we need more services. Uh, and Minister, you should enact legislation to ensure more good quality transport services for all. The public generally, the elderly, social welfare recipients, whether, wherever they are in this country, must be entitled to a good quality public transport service at reasonable rates. Public transport services should not be subject to market forces. It is, after all, a public service. And the current difficulties, Minister, as, are a result, as a result of government policy going back at least as far as 2009 and indeed continued govern, government policy uh, under your stewardship and, uh, uh, and the current government. Uh, the subvention uh, ha has been reduced considerably from 44 million in 2009 to 33 million in, um, uh, currently. Uh, and, uh, as I said, therefore, the, this uh, whole this difficulty is, uh, uh, is results from government policy, uh, and indeed, it's anything but uh, an industrial relations dispute. This is a policy issue, and it's a policy issue that has been driven driven by you and uh, and your uh, and your government. Uh, there's no doubt that the uh, difficult state of affairs, financial affairs of the, the company is largely as a result of the uh, reduction in the, in the subsidy and also as a, uh, uh, and also as a result of the uh, free travel scheme which is uh, so, uh, completely inadequately uh, subvented, uh, subvented by government. Um, the, Attack, Minister, I want to say the attack on bus and workers is a deliberate and vicious assault, uh, not only on their pay, and pay but also on their conditions. A uh, 30% reduction in, in pay is absolutely unacceptable uh, and uh, must and will be, uh, will, will be opposed trenchantly by, by, the, uh, by the workers. But it's more than an attack on the workers at, at Bus Airden. It's an attack on all workers, whether they be in the public or the private sector. Uh, and indeed, it's the thin end of the, end of the wedge uh, for privatisation. I believe the company must be defeated and indeed will be defeated. And I believe that strike action, including the sympathetic strike, is the right and only response to this vicious attack on workers by the company. Good morning.